Right. We got to get out of bed with the company. That's what yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. We haven't had hot water for months, for years. They build their billionaires. They they don't don't build. That's how I see it. Come on now. Look, we ain't here. We got your back. Relax. This is Steve Zeltzer with Work Week. This past week, there's been a struggle at auto companies among the workers for the closure of the auto plants to protect the workers. And as we discussed at Work Week previously, the, the workers are concerned about their health and safety and uh, no proper protection has been done. With. So we're talking today with Scott Holderson. He's a member of UAW 551, was a former vice president, and he has been uh, urging uh, work protection for the workers. Welcome to Work Week, Scott. Hey, thanks for having me, Steve. So what has been happening at your plant, and what are the concerns of your fellow members about health and safety in the auto plant? Well, at, at our plant, we've, we've had a little bit of a uh, hiccup in our production schedule because Lear Corporation that supplies us with seat had two uh, employees that uh, tested positive for the uh, coronavirus. And naturally that lead, leads to uh, concerns for our own uh, workers here. We've had that concern because, you know, uh, with a, a pandemic, you have workers coming in and in close contact with one another and potentially uh, transferring, uh, having a potential to transfer a virus. You know, we've had uh, schools shut down, sports, sports, uh, leagues shut down, uh, conventions, restaurants, bars, all that shut down, and yet we still insist, our company still insists on bringing people into close proximity to build cars. And in the Bay Area, Tesla, the owner, Elon Musk, was ordered to shut down because there's a Bay Area order for, uh, for people not to work at assembly plants or other operations, and apparently he's ignoring the order, continuing to run Tesla. The arrogance of these companies seems to have no bounds. Now, what has the UAW done? I understand there have been some negotiations. What what action are they taking? What action are rank and file taking around the UAW? Well, the, the leadership and Rory Gamble, who is uh, our president right now, uh, he was in uh, a uh, task force with the CEOs of the companies. Uh, and he's been putting out messages to uh, to the members, uh, saying that they're uh, trying to uh, come up with strategies to, uh, you know, mitigate the uh, the impact of the coronavirus on on our members. Uh, and over the weekend, they uh, uh, they escalated it, uh, asking for two weeks off, and instead getting uh, rotating. Uh, uh, shutdowns and, and uh, sh uh, short shift uh, was what they uh, announced. And then uh, uh, but the auto workers themselves have been, been taking uh, matters into our own hands. Um, in Windsor, uh, Canada, a Unifor local uh, that makes minivans for Chrysler, uh, had walked out uh, about last week sometime. It was uh, the middle of last week, I believe. And uh, then uh, um, Warren Truck Plant uh, for Chrysler, uh, earlier this week, they had uh, uh, a number of people walk out of their paint department. Uh, they were back to, to work the next day under threat of discipline. Uh, and then uh, just yesterday at the Sterling Heights, assembly plant for Chrysler, uh, the workers came to work and then refused to, refused to build any products. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, a sit-down action, uh, and I think that was what really led to the, uh, the auto plants now being shut down until uh, March 30th. Uh, so, you know, the action of the workers uh, has held some uh, some sway and some power in uh, actually convincing the uh, the big three auto companies to uh, uh, curtail operation. Uh, so we just got that announcement today at Chicago Assembly Plant, but there are workers that uh, are required to work still, uh, but we're not running production. So we're doing repairs and uh, 
maintenance and cleaning. And we're speaking with Scott Holison. He's a Ford worker with UAW 551, formerly vice president. And Scott, it looks like we're going into a not just a U.S. depression, but a world depression. And the uh, Trump uh, government now want to give uh, billions and trillions of dollars to bail out these companies. What do you think about the bailout plan that Trump is proposing? Well, I don't know all of, uh, all of the plans that Trump has proposed. Um, I did see last week that $1.5 trillion was pumped into the Wall Street banking industry. Uh, and, uh, you know, that would go a long way towards helping families. Uh, you know, that kind of uh, cash in, 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 uh, cash put in, pumped into the hands of working class folks would uh, help stimulate the economy more than uh, uh, sequestering it in the, the banking industry. And of course, in 2008, uh, millions of people were lost their homes. They were dispossessed. Their homes were stolen, actually by Min- Minucci, who's the tre- Treasury Secretary in California. He was involved in taking, illegally taking people's homes in California uh, during that subprime mortgage crisis. Uh, do you fear that the same thing is going to happen to working people in this country, that the billionaires who really run this uh, country are going to, again, try to dispossess, rip off the working people and, and take care of the billionaires? Well, it's crisis capitalism, and, and it's, uh, you know, the way that the, uh, the rich and powerful have, have operated uh, in this kind of economic system uh, for time eternal. And what do you think should be done about it? Well, I, I, we need uh, definitely need stronger regulations to uh, prevent that from happening. And what do you think about a labor party, the idea of workers having a workers' party in this country to protect them? Uh, that would be great. And we need to, I mean, we have the, the workers' uh, working families party, um, but it, it's really not taken off and gotten off the ground. We need to, you're right, we need to get behind uh, a workers' party and uh, move forward with it. Okay, well, I want to thank you for joining us on Workweek Radio. We've been talking with Scott Holderson with UAW 551, former vice president and a Ford worker. And uh, recently, uh, today, as a matter of fact, when we're doing this interview, they announced that it was shut, uh, they would be shut down for a few weeks and partly as a response of workers' actions on the job. So thanks for joining us on Workweek Radio, Scott. Thanks for having me, Steve.